don't care if you never come home I don't mind if you just keep on rolling along on a distant sea Cause I don't love you and you don't Welcome back, sports fans, to Sly Wagon Lessons. We have a request in the rack for today. Thank you very much, Carol, for suggesting a lesson on promises by Eric Clapton. It's from the early 70s, kind of the, the lay down Sally era of, uh, of Eric Clapton music. And the world was full of love songs. So I guess Mr. Clapton thought it apt to uh, present a song that's kind of about the other end of relationships. When promises start to break, the last verse holds out a little bit of hope that the uh, relationship might be salvageable yet. Um, however, it's, uh, it's kind of the opposite of a love song, I suppose, uh, which uh, the world needs from time to time. They can't all be silly love songs after all. Uh, misquoting Mr. Uh, Paul McCartney. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show you how to do three parts of the song. Uh, there's a verse. Uh, you would have seen this in the intro. Uh, there's a verse. There's the chorus. And then there's the kind of hooky part under the la-la-las, right? And uh, Clapton plays some neat uh, dobro underneath that. Or it might be just slide guitar. But it sounds cool, and it's kind of the most um, recognizable part of the song. I'll show you how to play it on the, uh, on the harmonica. The uh, song is in the key of G. I'll show you the chords in the chord cam. And um, it's in first position. So a lot of blow notes, but up in the picto tab, a blue means blow, and a red square means draw, all right? As I mentioned, lots of blow notes. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty simple little uh, song to pick out on the, the harmonica. So with those three different portions, you can... Uh, if you're performing the song, throw in some harmonica breaks um, to, to add um, interest to the song. Or you could do the whole thing instrumentally as well, if uh, that is what uh, you wish to do. All right? So we're going to start with uh, the verse. The chords are uh, simply a G. It is in the key of G, so that's your one chord. The C. And there's a D in there as well. So uh, the verse goes like this. And I kind of add a little percussive muting to uh, add a little bit of rhythm to the song. All right. I don't care if you never come home. I don't mind if you just keep on rolling along on a distant sea. Because I don't love you when you don't love me. All right. So let me slow that down for you. Put the notes up in the picto tab so you can um, play something kind of like that on the harmonica. Here we go. Notice that uh, sometimes when I'm switching from a C to a G, I'll do this shape of G with my pinky on that uh, high E string at the third fret for the G, uh, just because it's less hand movement than, than this uh, kind of my favorite uh, G would be that one uh, with your uh, middle finger there on the uh, low G bass note. 
God, it's just an easier hand movement to do it that way sometimes. All right, so that's the verse on the harmonica. You can use that as a break if you want, or if you're playing an instrumentally, uh, just uh, play the whole verse. And next, we will turn our attention to the chorus. So for the chorus, uh, it initially hops up to the four chord. That's your C. The other chord I wanted to show you is an A minor seven, which ends up sounding a whole lot like a C because uh, all you're doing to, to form uh, an A minor seventh is pick up that ring finger. So you're no longer playing a C bass. You're playing an, an A bass. And then you've also got uh, your index finger on the, um, the B string at the first fret for a C. And you've got your middle finger on the D string, second fret, for an E note, all right? So that's an A minor seven, and uh, you kind of go back and forth. You go up to the four, back to the one, then to that A minor seven, back to the G chord again, up to the C, back to the G, up to the A minor seven, and then back to the G, all right? I got a problem, can you relate? I got a woman, calling love hate. We made a vow, we'd always be friends. How could we know that promises end? All right, simple little chorus. Let me show you how to uh, pick it out on the uh, harmonica. Picto tab. On a distant sea, as it were, through Promises by Eric Clapton, the only part remaining is uh, what I consider to be kind of the hook for this song. La, 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 la. I'm going to show you how to play that on the harmonica. Because it is so recognizable, if you're looking for a break to add on the harmonica rather than playing the whole song instrumentally, I think it makes sense to, to uh, at least consider this as a break that the folks listening are going to recognize uh, because it's replacing uh, there's some uh, steel guitar or dobro I think that Clapton plays underneath the vocals on this one uh, that uh, ends up kind of being the most recognizable portion of the song so we'll play it on the harmonica and uh, it is uh, it would make I think a, a cool break that you could add to the song as you perform it. So uh, the chords, there's a, a there's a new chord. It is just C. Uh, the new one would be the B minor. Make an A minor using your uh, ring finger, your uh, sorry, your middle finger uh, at the second fret on the B string, and then the um, uh, your ring finger and your pinky at the second fret of the. Uh, the D string and the G string, right? That's an A minor. And slide it up and bar across that second fret. Now you've got yourself a B minor. So it's a C, B minor, and then a D chord in this uh, this little hook. La la, la 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 la. a little bit of poetic license and I actually play that line la 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 all right uh, you don't have to do it that way you can play it just as I clapped and uh, laid it out here's how to do it on the harmonica All right, 
So there you have it. The three different parts to play Promises uh, by Eric Clapton on the harmonica. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. I hope you will subscribe on your way out today. And I'll keep uh, the song-based instruction on playing the harmonica and the guitar together uh, coming. All right? Thanks. Hope to see you again.